The lesson you are about to review is Lesson 24 of the Calculus 2nd Edition textbook. The last 65 lessons of the Advanced Math book were coupled with the first 25 lessons of Calculus to form what is called the, the, the course titled Trigonometry and Precalculus. If you need more information or for more detail, please go to the May 2009 newsletter. Well, good morning. We're on lesson 24 and we're going to introduce something titled the power rule. And it's really not magic, it's, uh, it comes from the old binomial expansions and we'll go into that in detail. Early in lesson uh, 19, I think we talked about the formal definition of a derivative. It was the limit as delta x approach zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x provided the limit exists, okay? And there was another format for it, and it was, I'll just write it up here. I think your book even referenced it. It was the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. I think my old calc book had that in it also. And there's other variations, but We'll just try this one. Well, that's okay for a function like this, f of x equals 2x cubed. It's a little tedious, and it can be more cumbersome or tedious, but for now, if we were going to use the definition, it would be the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 times x plus h cubed minus 2x cubed all divided by h. And using the binomial expansion, this would come out to be f prime of x is equal to, and I'll tell you what I got here, without 2x cubed plus 6x squared h plus 6xh squared plus 2h cubed minus the 2x cubed this part right here was this, all right? All over h. Now here's where your application of algebra comes in. This will cancel. This will only cancel one of each of those, so those terms become zero because as h approaches zero, they still have an h in them. These two cancel each other, and f prime, I could write that a little neater, f prime of x is equal to 6x squared. All right, now let's apply the power rule. Let's try, let's try a function. We'll leave that up there. Let's try it on this one. f of x is equal to 3 fourths x to the eighth. Now we're going to apply the power rule to this. And you recall back in binomial expansion we had h plus b cubed and we were told to expand that. And that became a cubed plus 3a squared b plus something. And if we were told to expand a to the fourth that would become a to the fourth plus 4a cubed b and it goes on, okay? And you'll notice something here. You'll notice that this is an n times a to the n minus one. So using the power rule, what would the derivative of a to the fourth be? Well, you'd bring the n around to here and subtract one that would become 4a cubed. Do you notice where the power rule comes from? We've used it before, we just never explained it to you in the sense of it being the first derivative, okay? Well, let's apply the power rule. 
on a couple of these functions. If you take the n and move it here and subtract 1, you're going to get the following. 8, nothing wrong with making it a fraction so you don't forget to what? Cancel times x to the 7th. So the answer to that is f prime of x is equal to 6x to the 7th. All right, let's try another one. It's not that difficult. It is less tedious and cumbersome than the definition of the derivative. And then the students say to me, well, why did we do that? Well, because we wanted you to understand how a derivative came about. It wasn't just pulled out of the book somewhere. f of x is equal to the fifth root of x cubed. Find f prime of x. The first thing you want to do is convert that radical to a fraction. So f prime of x, let's see, is equal to x to the 3 fifths. Okay? So if I bring this around to here and subtract 1, f prime of x is going to be equal to 3 fifths x to the 3 fifths minus 5 fifths. So f prime of x is equal to 3 fifths x to the negative 2 fifths. Okay? All right, let's do one more and we'll let you go. The key here is not the calculus. That's the easy part. I told you about this before. The key here is your knowledge of algebra. Here's the third problem. If f of x is equal to 1 over the cube root of x squared. So the first thing we want to do is convert this to 1 over x to the 2 thirds. We want to get rid of that radical, okay? So f prime of x is equal to 1 over, I mean f of x is equal to 1 over 2 thirds and then f prime of x, the derivative, I'm going to change this one more time to get it all in the numerator. When you're working with derivatives, you want everything in the denominator moved up to the numerator. So this makes it easier to work with. Well, now all I've got to do is take that in front of that and subtract 1. So that equals a negative 2 thirds x to the negative 2 thirds minus 3 thirds. So the derivative of this function right here is a negative two-thirds x to the minus five-thirds. Again, it's the algebra that gets you in trouble, not the calculus. Okay? We'll see you tomorrow.